Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you or we'll be discussing with you how to see private account videos on TikTok. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might want to see someone's videos, even though they're, ha or in this case, they have their account in private. Well, the thing here is we need to discuss a few things here and the limitations that we could do within the platform itself. So first things first, can you actually use different uh, websites out there or different apps to see someone's video, even though their account is private? So the thing here is whenever you do a quick search here on Google, so let's just type in the following, see private account TikTok. So it's going to give you different options here. It's going to give you different results, but it's going to be the same thing. So for in order for you to see someone's TikTok account or private TikTok account, you need to start following them and they need to actually approve that follow request. So the thing here is uh, there are going to be uh, some limitations like what I said before. So TikTok accounts, if they have the, that in private, TikTok will prevent, you in this case, protect their account. So most likely you won't be able to see them or see their videos since again, it's private. So this is something that TikTok has, or in this case, a feature of TikTok that actually supports or protects different creators out there, or in this case, uh, accounts that don't want to be public. So in this case, we don't have any options or tools that could actually bypass that. But if you do see any ad ads out there that says, hey, we can unlock your, in this case, unlock this a specific TikTok account and show you their private videos, or if an app actually uh, uh, suggests that they help you access that private account, then most likely those websites or apps actually are a scam. Then most likely they might be asking you to do some ads or random ad ads out there. They might be stealing your data here or even hack you. So in this case, be careful out there for any websites or apps that you're trying to sign up. So this is for your own good. So make sure to be careful out there. Don't just give your private information, especially your password and your account details for TikTok. You will get hacked. Oh, trust me on this one. But yeah, in this case, the best way and the sure guaranteed way that you could actually get someone to uh, view or show you them or let them show you their videos and their private account is to basically start following them, which is the most obvious uh, answer that we could get here. So if you don't want to start following them via your official account, so for example, I have this account here, you could actually create a new account if you're not aware. So which is a great way for you to basically uh, manage multiple accounts. So uh, yeah, you could log in into multiple, multiple accounts here if you want to. But in this case, you want to go to your profile at the bottom right here. And at the na your name at the very top center here, you have that drop down button. So go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, we have the add account option. So let's go and click on add account. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to basically sign off for TikTok. So in this case, you could either use your mobile number here, your email, your Facebook, your Google, your Line, or even your KakaoTalk account. So in this case, choose the appropriate one here. So for example, I'm going to use Facebook here, continue with Facebook. So in this case, I want to log in into my account and complete the whole sign up process. But then again, you need to have an account that does not have already connected uh, TikTok account and that specific um, Facebook account or whatever account that you want to use. So for example, let's go and choose our birthday here. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to proceed with the other details that they'll be requesting. So let's just fill out this information real quickly here. Click on next. And from here, we want to go ahead and create a nickname. So in this case, uh, maybe I want to say uh, this is going to be my nickname here. Let's go and click on continue. And as you can see, we just created our account here. So in this case, what you need to do is you just need to edit your profile here. So go to your profile at the bottom right, click on edit profile. And from here, edit your username if you want to, your name, your bio, uh, if you have like nonprofits here, create an AI stuff as well if you want. You can e even add like Instagram accounts, YouTube accounts here and Twitter accounts. So the whole goal here is to make sure that your account is actually complete so that the person that you're requesting uh, the follow for has some reference that, hey, should I allow this person to follow me? So in this case, you also might want to start following different people. So maybe uh, go to your For You page here, start searching for different accounts that you might want to follow. But in this case, uh, once you've done that, what we need to do here is we just need to start searching for the person that you want to follow. 
So in this case, you want to click on the search at the top right here. So maybe I want to say I want to follow or in this case, I'll look for this specific user. And in this case, once you've actually uh, seen the user, you could go ahead and just click on their name in here and basically click on the follow button. So since their account is private here, there's a whole uh, approval process. So if they do approve your request here, you should be able to start seeing their private account. So currently, it is the only way for us to actually see someone's private account, which is really unfortunate. But this is a feature that TikTok actually implemented into their platform here to protect different uh, accounts that wants their account protected. But in this case, uh, be careful out there. So if, again, if you do see any offers out there that actually shows you or in this case offers you to show someone's private account, be careful. They might be hacking you or even getting your data uh, without your permission. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.